Today we want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, Eastwood products and how we're going to use them on the uh, 71 Le Mans build that we're doing. So we're at the point now where we got to deal with the coatings underneath. So we've got um, old rusty frame, we've got the whole under the body part where the uh, it's got the old undercoating underneath that's been sprayed underneath there previously which some of it's on some of it's off and we got the situation where you got the inside of the frame that has rust um, any of the bad rust issues we've cut out and welded uh, Eastwood's got this really cool product so we did a little bit of research and decided how are we gonna do this without just like running to Menards and picking up uh, Rust-Oleum paint and scraping it a little bit and spraying it with that. We just didn't feel like that was a good option. Um, so Eastwood's got a bunch of products that are essentially the quality that you're going to get to have a guy spray it where it's catalyzed finish. They've got these finishes that are, so I'm going to show you here. They got this, this is just a, a, a primer, but this is an epoxy finish. And what you do is you take this little cap out of the top of here, okay? And that cap goes on here. I'm not gonna do it right now because it's gonna wreck it, but you put that cap on here, you hit that thing on the ground, it punctures a bladder on the inside of that can, and then you mix it up. It's got instructions on here about how long you gotta shake it. And you've got a two-part finish. So now you got just a home gamer that's got the ability to spray paint that's going to come out really nice rather than just a rust oleum or whatever finish. Um, so we've got several different uh, finishes here. We've got primers and we've got gloss black and we've got matte black for some of the different areas. We also have this, um, it's a rubberized undercoating, but it encapsulates the rust. So it completely covers it, it'll stick to it, anything that we can't get off. So we're gonna needle scale everything and grind it and sand it. And anything that we miss, we're gonna hit with this. So this is gonna go on anywhere there was undercoating previously. We're gonna use this product. And then the rest of it, like the inner fenders, um, all the bare metal, the frame, we've got spots that are bare and some rust. That's going to go to a gloss black and we'll put a primer on first and then gloss black it. Then the inside of the frame, and this is the thing I'm the most excited about. So they have this internal frame coating. This is just the black version. Um, and this thing comes with this really cool, it's a little hose. I think it's 18 inches long. And the thing you... Um, so the can's just a normal, normal can. You pop this tip off, and you're gonna put this tip on right here. And that's gonna turn this thing into this long wand. And then out of the end of this tube, this is this conical head, so it sprays 360 degrees around. So we're gonna take this thing and we're gonna insert it into the car frame as far as we can get it start to spray and slowly work our way out of that frame and that's going to totally coat the whole inside of the frame so this is an old a body which if you guys are familiar with a bodies the center of that frame was always just a c channel well in an effort to uh, stiffen that thing up we've welded it and we've boxed it in now we've got a situation where you can't get to everything inside. So that's why we want to coat all that. Um, you gotta remember like these old muscle cars, we're, we live in Michigan. This thing was born in Detroit. It spent the last, well, it's entire life. So it's almost 50 years now. This thing's been exposed to salty roads, um, the Michigan climate and it. It's full of rust and cancer and we're gonna try to stop it with these products. So um, I just want to do a brief video to share what we're going to do and then we'll do a couple little videos of one I'm going to show you what what it's like to do the internal coating where we pull that tube through We'll get some shots of that and then we'll go through and do um, each of the other products how we're using them And you'll get to physically see how they spray out how they lay out 
And, um, and then we also have a, um, a high temperature engine coating that we're gonna be using um, for sure the primer and then we'll probably get them to add. So Eastwell will add a color for you. So if you wanna to go to the original Pontiac color or Chevy or whatever, um, they can put that color and that finish coat as well. And we'll probably do that as well. So um, that's just a brief overview of what we're gonna do with these products. And then we'll do probably maybe three different ones of each step and then show you step by step how they actually work and then you can judge for yourself what the finish is like and um, so hopefully that helps. So that's what we're using on this build.